Hello everyone, Kitchen Runner for Kitchen Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Hustle Castle. Today we are going to finish the Musketeer Hustle, see if I can get my last couple of runes. Well, that is the video I was going to do. As a matter of fact, that is the video I did do last night. And three minutes into my video, it stopped recording without me actually realizing that. So I lost all the footage of me opening up my last few collections and seeing what I got. So I'm going to talk about that here in today's video, show what I got. I actually have a couple of things I can open yet, so we'll see if, uh, if I can't get extremely lucky. So I'm going to talk about that. And I have a little bit of a sneak peek on another event that's going to be coming soon in this game. It's a different event type. We haven't seen it yet in this game. So I'm going to cover the details that were uh, quote unquote leaked. Uh, all the content creators were uh, given this information and they've been sharing it, so I am taking my second attempt to get this video out. So what are we going to talk about first, the event or the sneak peek? Let's talk about the sneak peek first. Uh, real quick, before I do that, let me do a real quick advertisement here uh, for the channel. Uh, as you can see down below in the ticker and... Um, yeah, as you can see in the ticker, the uh, those that support the channel uh, are listed down below. So Keith Giles, thank you very much for supporting constantly every month um, on the uh, YouTube memberships. And I also have Buy Me A Coffee if that's something you're interested in. You can see all those that are supporting down there as well. Thank you to everyone who has continued to support the channel. I do very much appreciate that. You can see it down below in the ticker and in the description if that's something you're interested in. And also, if you're not already a subscriber to the YouTube channel, click that like uh, the video and also subscribe to the channel. It very much helps. And then last but not least, the Discord server. Discord servers really, really taken off. Um, Hustle Castle's got a little bit more um, discussions going on. Not, you know, nothing like Hustle Prime, of course. Um, throughout this last event, there's been a little bit more going on. So thank you to everybody who's trying to start those conversations. We're gonna, we're gonna keep pushing. But that is the place where you can find my giveaways. Lately, I haven't had time to do them on the videos like this, so I've been posting them on the Discord server, and they happen every week. As a matter of fact, I'll probably post the next one tonight. It'll be live for only 24 hours. So make sure you. Uh, jump in and uh, be part of that uh, giveaway before it is done for the week. All right, with that out of the way, let me, let's get away from that weather over here and let me go ahead and talk about this new event style that's coming up. So um, the information I have been given is this is a, an event that is coming up. It's not gonna be the next event. It'll be an event sometime in the future. I'm not sure how long, uh, I would assume sometime soon. The fact that we are told this, and also, I don't know any other details. So anything else I'm going to be saying here is pretty much going to be my... Uh, I'm going to have to change this. You guys are seeing me looking off camera because I, I moved my setup tonight and it's actually not going to work for this video. So let's get back to here. Um, also, my lighting's a little bit messed up, so I do apologize for that. Get that fixed next time. So yeah, um, everything that I say is basically my my thoughts, my, my guesses. I don't really know any of the details about what this is going to be, but I do have a really good guess, to be honest with you. So. What we see here is uh, one of two images I'm going to be showing. So this looks very much like the uh, the spinning wheel type uh, events that we've had in the past, where you know look on the bottom you have a token you can spin one one hustle castle token for five or two or ten for fifty. And by the way, all these rewards and numbers they're just made up. None of these are real anyway. But it's just things that are plugged in so we can see. So we might not actually see any of these specific things. In fact, that hero amount on the right, I'm pretty sure we already have as part of the game. So that certainly won't be there. And some of these other weapons as well. But so it looks like we're going to be playing. Um, you're going to probably get these um, tokens or um, chips down at the bottom just by doing your normal everyday average grinding, playing, doing the arena, doing invasions, all that kind of stuff, you'll get these chips. And as you get your chips, you spin, and then as you spin, you get these items. So you'll get these regular dice or other special items. And I'm sure lots of regular stuff like gray dust and green dust, and we saw that a lot as well. And you see in the bottom left, we have a VIP pass, which is part of this event as all of the events actually. And what that's going to allow you to do. So in the upper right, we see a, uh, a regular die. And on the upper left, we see a gold die. Assuming this is what I think it is, this event actually exists in American Dad and it's actually a very unpopular event. Um, it's, it's catered to those that pay and pay a lot because <laughs> you don't get a lot of the stuff unless you're grinding like mad and you're paying so like it, it might not be this but it, it's kind of looking like it so i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about this as i know the american dad version of this event and we'll see if it actually is so anyway so you get the regular die just by spinning and um getting it on the wheel there and then if you have the vip pass meaning you're paying 9.99 19.99 whatever it's going to be you can get that gold die and the gold die allows you to 
It's like the regular die, you can you, you spin it and you move the number of spaces, which we'll see on the next screen. And uh, they often are more, um, the lower numbers show up more often. And then if you buy the pass, you get the gold die, which allows you, you can't, you can get a gold die, I think if you don't have the pass, but you can't spin them. So that's gonna give you a, another option to spin and you get them other ways too and and i think those are more catered towards the higher numbers on the on the die not always but i think it's a, a better chance for that and then you also see the different tabs you know you get different quests and things like that as you're as you're going through it so that is that is the first screen here um you know it's something different it's similar to what we've seen before but something different but this is the other aspect to it that we haven't seen before and this again is what we've seen in hustle castle so as you spin uh, not hustle castle american dad as you spin that die you see a path here you follow the arrows and you kind of go around um, starting in the bottom right hand corner you curve around to the bottom left again is that going to be the exact path who knows but this is the way it works in American Dad. You get those die, and then you're just moving around piece to piece. And as you go, you get every single thing. So if I would roll a six, one, two, three, four, five, six, you get to that helmet there. I wouldn't just get the helmet. I get everything that led up to the helmet. So I get the, the mount, the diamonds, the dust, and all that kind of stuff. So that part of it's nice. But when you're rolling ones and twos all the time, if you don't buy the pass, it's kind of unfortunate. And then you have to get enough of these die and to get enough of the spins, you have to play a lot. I mean, seriously, a lot. And there's a lot of really, really good items that come out of this event, assuming this is like American Dad. Uh, there's a lot of a meta type uh, weapons that are coming out of that event. Um, but you have to get a long ways and play a lot. So we'll see. It, it seems like that is that is exactly what this event is going to be. I could be wrong. This is simply my guess is what I'm thinking based on what we've seen before in the other games it's something different which is good because one of the things i'm noticing about this game is it's just the same thing fairly regularly so you, you haven't seen me doing as much videos because it's just unless i grind like crazy to get my hero maxed out it's all pretty much the same and once i get my hero maxed out it's all gonna be the same and all the same players are doing the exact same thing every time so um i'm waiting for something to change in this game and something like this is a, a nice little um change so hopefully it'll be a positive thing and hopefully they tweak the numbers in a way that it's not going to be so impossible um like it was in american dad certainly the first iteration of it was really bad the second iteration they changed a couple things and i think it was slightly better and they get better rewards as well so what's it going to be in this one? Who knows? We'll see. Um, but uh, it is good that we're having something different. We did see the uh, the whack-a-mole style events start here in Hustle Castle before any of the rest of them got it, and now it's the most popular style everywhere. So who knows? Maybe this will actually end up being a good thing because it'll tweak the numbers and making it more successful, and then it will spread throughout the rest of the games. Don't know. Uh, time will tell. It, it's coming at some point in the future. Not sure exactly when, but hopefully, uh, hopefully soon. All right, so let's get, you know what, I'm actually, I just realized I'm doing this in the emulator instead of the PC version of the game. That was an accident. I was trying to get through my commercials for the event because there's a way that you can get through the commercials really quickly and I messed up and I forgot to exit out and go back into the PC version of the game, which the PC version of the game does not allow you to do that little, I'll call it a hack for lack of a better term, but you can watch, use two different devices and watch all your commercials within, you know, five minutes or whatever. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump into where I am currently for the Musketeer Hustle. Again, I do apologize for missing a bunch. I recorded it last night. With, with that said, let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay, still recording. So this is where I am at the moment. I got my extra reward. I had about 55 new collections, I believe. I got through most of the, I think I got down to 12. And then I got the last of the things that I got. And then I've gotten six more by watching more commercials. So I think there's one or two more chances for me to do something, but the likelihood of me getting things about zero, more than likely. So what was I able to get? Let's see. I was able to get the Rune of Flexibility. This was my last one, I think. Got that one, and I also got the Rune of Persistence. Very nice. Got those two. So I got the I got my tank and I got my um, archer taken care of. The ones I'm missing are my mages in the middle. So I did not get the new rune of intelligence, and I still have not gotten the old rune of craftiness. Um, I do have a couple 
couple uh, collections to complete of these old ones that are already completed. So I'm going to go ahead and open all of those just because it's going to increase my total collection count. Maybe that will help increase my chances to get one of these two. I think I only have like one or two chances, so it's highly, highly unlikely. But at least I got two. That's better than I expected. And if I look at rankings, that says 91 because I had 91 at the point when the event was over and then we had three more days. So the other ones that I opened, like I said, I think it was like 55. So that puts me about 140. 145, 146, plus maybe another six, so maybe a total 150 to 155, something like that's gonna be my grand total. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just blast through these really quick. Doesn't matter what I get, I'm just increasing my collection count. I had been saying throughout the entire, hey, well, there we go, legendary items, very nice. I've been saying throughout the entire time that it seems to be 300 seems to be the magic number when people are getting most of the collection, or most of the runes. Um, some higher, some lower but somewhere within that range. And uh, 400,000 gold, that's nice. And many people also didn't get their first one until 120, 130. I think I got my first one at like 115 maybe. So it was a little bit earlier for me. I think the last event I did was like 160 or something ridiculous. So it, it was really, I was really far behind compared to what other people had done. My last couple attempts were like that actually. All right, so we got 14 more to go. Again, no runes to get here. Just opening the collections, hopefully getting lots of gold. We got a, de a decoration, don't really care about that, but sure, nice. Wasting all this food, wasting all this stuff, that's fine. I'm actually gonna go pop out and get those bubbles in the background because, actually I'm not, I'm, I'm getting some pretty good things. So I'm gonna stay here, one, two, three. So this will be my last, we got five more to go, so that means I'll have maybe three. Actually, some of those are on the bottom too, so um, maybe I'm not gonna have anything to open. Well, let's just open up these five, because they don't matter. Okay, last one. Ooh, another legendary. Two legendaries out of 15, not bad. Nothing I'm going to use, of course, but I can break them up and use the materials, so not bad. All right, so this one gives me a chance, I believe. There we go, there's one chance. Only one chance there. And this is in the new category, I already have that. So I only have one chance to get the last two runes. So let's just go ahead and finish off the last ones that won't get me anything new. And I do have another commercial or two to watch. So I'll go ahead and do that probably off camera since I need to reset my two hour window because I messed up in watching the commercials on the two devices. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if I can't get extremely lucky, maybe pull a double on this one and then get all of them. That would be pretty cool. All right, so I didn't get anything, but that was to be expected. So like I said, like 115, I got two of them. I'm pretty happy with that. And the good thing, I think I've said this before, that if you don't get something, it's gonna show up next time. And for me, I, I'm okay with my build and my squad and the way it's running at the moment. So if I didn't get anything new, I was okay with it because things are progressing fine. Or not progressing, but things are working out fine. Anything new, I'll have to start tweaking my squad and things are gonna be changing, it's fine. But the, like I said, the good thing is that we get these, what, three, four times a year. So within a couple months, a few months, we're gonna have another chance to get the ones that we missed. Not a big deal, there'll be another new one added and then we'll have a chance to get these last two. So I'm okay with not getting them all. Sure, it'd be nice. Sure, I could go ahead and spend a bunch of diamonds to try to get some of these, but it's not worth it in my mind. I spend this 50. The chance of me getting something that completes a collection, kind of small. And then the chance for it being the specific collection that I need, that to get the useful item to get the rune is also pretty small. So I'm not gonna spend, it's not worth it. Um, like I said, it's not, a, it's not a big game changer for my squad or my setup. The, the one thing, the two things I'm gonna do here, which I didn't do yesterday, is looking at, I'm gonna take a look at the new runes and I'm gonna take a look at that new artifact. And with that, I'm also gonna go look at what the top people are running so I can uh, see how they're using it, especially that uh, artifact. So we have the, looks like a couple of the tongue sticking out of it, but I guess that's, that's wine or something splashing out of it. And we got the arrow and we got the, the sword rune. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a look at the top player here. And then I'll go ahead and see how it fits me. So look at that, people over 30 million now. Whew. Something I will never do, that's for sure. All right, let's go visit here. This is how I like to see uh, see what I should be aiming for and working towards. And if I have the stuff, I can do it. And if not, like, okay, maybe I can use this as an idea uh, moving forward. 
for my squad. So first thing I'm going to do is go flying through the artifacts and see if I can see the new one in here. I don't even remember what it does, to be honest with you. I thought I, I thought it seemed like it could be reasonable, but it doesn't look like it's being used by at least the top player in the game. Okay, so let's go look at... I don't think people are running uh, Banes anymore. Everybody's running a double... Uh, a double, not illusionist. Huh. Interesting. Um, tank, mage, right here. People are running single or double legionnaire and they've gotten rid of their uh, bane in the background. So um, one of those runes might not be used. There you go, double legionnaire. All red chips, very nice. Red gems, sorry, wrong game. Um, so I do have one Legionnaire. I did talk about doing another video um, to try to take advantage of what these people are doing. I'm going to do that. That'll probably probably be my next video because I still have... Mine's fairly strong, I think. It's just kind of sitting on the bench not doing anything. So I need to figure out how to change my setup to make uh, make use of that. And yeah, we're not... Uh, everything's either Legionnaire or a Mage or a tank and he's got illusionist as well let's go ahead and see if he's running the new there we go here's the new one right there when an enemy is killed the unit receives a shield of durability for 20 percent of their max health the shield does not stack and this is for acts of light which i don't have pretty much everybody got rid of their torch not torch that's the zero city version the um been playing more zero city lately so i got my sets all mixed up Maddie on my team is, is what the one I'm talking about. I'm just going to go ahead and take a look. Go ahead and get these, get the happiness going. Incinerator. Is that what it is? No. There we go. Annihilator. Yeah. So people were running, a lot of people were running annihilators and then, um, the new Axe of Light came not a long time ago. You get that by clan wars and people are clan territories and people are running that now. I personally haven't done that. Maybe I should at this point because that's that seems to be meta, but uh, I haven't done that. So right now I'm currently using this one and with the rune I currently have on causes splash damage equaling a lot of the fighter area and the blood has a chance to do triple damage. I've taken this off and tried some other things and mixed things around and nothing seems to be as good as this for me. We'll see what the new one's going to look like. I have to do some testing for sure to see if that is going to work for me. But let's at least try it on and see what happens here. Same thing as the other person. So when, the enemy is, when an enemy is killed, the unit receives a shield of durability of 20% of the max health. Max health is pretty good, so that's nice. The shield does not stack up but is refreshed when the enemy is killed again. That's nice. So you kill somebody, and it doesn't even say that this guy has to kill anybody. This fighter, my uh, my fighter is actually a, a girl, so I can't say guy. This person, um, okay, uh, that seems like that could be highly useful. We'll, we'll see. And I don't have another tank. I have my uh, got my palamage, but that's not going to work because it's on the weapons. So that doesn't work. So let's go back here to our bane. And Leah is also using this one. We're dealing critical damage, shoots an arrow at the closest enemy and the farthest. This was the meta, this is what everybody was using. But again, a lot of people aren't using Doom anymore, so um, I'm not sure if that's going to be better or not. So let's see what the new rune is going to do. Once in a while enhances their own three their, enhances their own three subsequent attacks. The enhanced attack deals 35% more damage and each of those attacks has a 50% chance of penetrating the target using their art of preventing the target from using the artifact ability for three seconds. That does not sound very exciting. So you have a 50-50 and have them lose their artifact, which helps some for sure. A chance to increase attacks by 35% versus versus this one, which is dealing critical when dealing critical damage, which Doom does a lot of critical damage. Shoots an arrow at the nearest and farthest arrow deals weapon damage to those enemies and poisons them, inflicting 60,000. So I think this is still the way to go. So I don't think I'm going to use any of them at the moment. Let's see. Let's see if I can put this. I already have my Legionnaire. I have Tom is using. 
This one once when I curse is a target for five seconds. The cursed enemy takes more damage. Maybe this is part of my problem. This is probably not the best setup for him. To me, that still is a tank weapon. So let's see if I can't use the tank weapon on him. Okay, when taking damage, has a 30% chance of dealing damage to the target equal to 300% of own attack. This will also prevent the target from using their weapon abilities for two seconds. That could be useful. That seems better than what it currently is. Um, you can sit out there, be up front, do their thing, um, and do more damage. But that's only a 30% chance. Okay, I'm just, today I'm not going to do any testing, but that's something to try. Obviously, I need to put a, an artifact on him when I put him back into fighting as well. So he's currently doing 50,000 damage plus... Um, I don't think I have any other damage slots I can add. When I was, I put Tom in real quick once when I was testing out, there's one. And I, I added a bunch of damage uh, gems to him. There's no damage here. Oh, there is three more there. Okay, I got I got a lot more damage I can add. That's good. And that's I just did that a long time ago. I don't know why I have that. So, yeah, I'm going to come back and revisit this, of course. And then we'll revisit these runes and see if we can put those in there. So, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and look at that artifact as well. Um, again, I only, only looked at one person, so it's not a very valid test. But let's go ahead and look at Tom, since we saw he didn't have anything. And we'll look at the new artifact. We've got a bunch of them sitting there not being used, obviously. There we go. The Tongue Cup. The unit ceases to use abilities for two seconds. During that period, their damage is enhanced by 250 and their movement speed is increased by 50. Also, they reflect all incoming damage to the closest enemy. While this ability is in effect, the artifact wears ability. Yes, it seems like having this for him is a good one. Oh, I got a sneeze coming. Hopefully won't do this on camera. All right, hopefully that doesn't sneak up on me. Okay, let's try this real quick. Rune of Revenge. This is... Oh, that's the Amulets. All right, that's another thing I'd want to test out too. So it seems like this could help Tom be a little bit better. And I have some other ways to make him better. But again, that's going to be the next video. So let's just not spend any time there. So yeah, that will do it for me and the Musketeer Hustle. And obviously I got two out of the four. I'm okay with that. Got three more hours to go. I didn't buy the pass. Um... I gave my reasons on that before. Uh, everything's just getting too expensive, and this one doesn't seem to make a big difference. So I went ahead and passed on that, which I did the last time or two as well. Some of the other events is more important. This one it certainly wasn't that important, so I didn't get that. Um, and that also will be doing it for the, the new event as well. So uh, let me know in the comments, or better yet, on Discord, because that's where most of the discussions are taking place. What you guys think about this new event style, what you think it's going to be. Um, do you think I'm right on the mark? Do you think I'm way off? Um, and are you excited about something different or not? Just let me know your thoughts on that. And um, if you're not on Discord server, go ahead and jump in there and uh, take part in the giveaway before it ends. Because I'm going to get that live hopefully while this video is processing. I'll turn on the, the giveaway. It'll be live for 24 hours. So be sure to jump in there. And until the next time, this has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games. And I will talk to you later. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.